here, don't get me wrong here. I'm not advocating for, you know, blind uh, forgiveness. But at the same time, for example, if someone tomorrow rapes my daughter or kill her, I would spend every minute of my life, you know, to find and kill that person. Is it the right thing to do? Well, technically, I will not, by doing so, I will not create more freedom for me. I will, you know, live in resentment, hate, um, instead of, you know, growing from that experience. Of course, it doesn't excuse that behavior, doesn't make the behavior, you know, right. But at the same time, you know, what what happens if I never find this person, you know? Or what happens if I find this person and he, he ends up killing me, you know? Uh, uh, so, again, uh, just something that you should think about, forgiveness, um, and I don't, I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying it's something that, you know, I would easily do, but probably at the, you know, there are several stages also of if you, you live a traumatic event like this. But one thing that will comfort me is that I will know for sure that this person will suffer consequences under natural law for his behavior at one point or another during this karmic cycle. If, if it's not in this life, it's in another life. Um, but that's a whole different topic to, to dive in. But um, I just want to plant the seed there of, you know, thinking there uh, about this uh, forgiveness. So pro tip, you cannot defend yourself properly if you don't love respect and care for yourself the psychopathic ruling class who are claiming ownership on your body which is slavery have created a power differential by hiding occulting knowledge of natural law and objective morality the only way to fight back in an efficient and durable manner is to de-occult such crucial information on a wide scale so that it becomes common sense knowledge here the meme says self-love isn't selfish it's important 